Zineb, thank you so much. Appreciate you uh, coming and taking time and having a, having a chit chat. My pleasure. Um, do you want to introduce yourself and, and tell everybody what, what your name, what you do, etc.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, my pleasure. Um, so thanks again. Um, my name is Zineb, Zineb Layachi. You can call me Z if you want. Mm -hmm. I think I told you that the last yeah. time we spoke. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I have over a decade's worth of experience from business development, sales enablement, and uh, to, to marketing where I've been CMO of two startups. And now I'm a happy marketing strategy consultant. Hmm. Nice. So, that's that's my uh, that's my that's me real quick. <laughs> I love oh, yeah. making T-shirts. Um, I love printing quotes on T-shirts. Uh, actually, oh, yeah. my LinkedIn bio is full of you know full of uh, little personal things about me. So, yeah. Awesome. Nice office as well you've mm -hmm. got there. You see, I got you fooled. I got you fooled. <laughs> <laughs> it really does actually fit because the light almost is similar. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and that. it's pretty. It's pretty far uh, far back. No? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's believable. I need to make it a. I, I need to make it into a video where I have passerbys. No, just yeah. It'll be and you can tell people what to do. Uh, could you get me a coffee right. and stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, I guess you know, like what, what we chatted about previously, and 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 I guess why we're mm -hmm. here now today is um, the, the impact that every this last three months has had. Now, for example, that you've seen or directly on your work anyway, or your clients' work, but. What's, what's your observation been from the last couple of months? Um, in general, I would say um, a, a freak out, no? A yeah, moment of yeah. freaking out at first. <laughs> yeah. um, so observing and then understanding, uh, you know, and that could, could take a couple of weeks, no, in mm. itself, each one, the observation, the, the, um, the understanding what's going on, and then, you know, being like, oh crap! I need to do something about it. So moving yeah, yeah. to the action, you know, the action mm. phase. I think that 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 process has we've we've all been through this. Um, uh, that in general, and in terms of in terms of uh, marketing more specifically, we've had uh, shifts in budgets. We've had mm. budget cuts, of course, um, and others that have had more leeway um, could at least keep investing and stay top of mind and mm -hmm. win over the business that was being uh, left behind you know, mm -hmm. from, from, from others. That's a very general you know, overview of, of what's going on. And, and directly for yourself with your own particular work now, what, the clients you're working with, what, what's, the, what's the big takeaway or, or, or the biggest thing you've seen? The big takeaway now is we don't have time. We have to act fast. So I think that's, I've heard it again and again and again. Um, yeah. And so there, I'm, I'm always trying to, to say, okay, we do have to act fast, but not, I mean, we got to think about things. Mm. Uh, so today I posted uh, guest on LinkedIn, guesswork is expensive, right? Mm. Um, you have to do a little bit of research. You have to know, and I'm, I, I'm well aware of, you know, the startup world. You have to just do, do, do and learn. I get that, but you need to, whatever you do, have thought about it. No? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have tested a little bit, uh, talk to targets, talk to your current customers. Um, so interesting. I think, uh, yeah. Interesting. No, no, actually that this situation is in terms of if you're from startups and you're used to startups, this, the reaction to this situation is quite similar to that in a sense that usually with startups, it's a case of, okay, we know what we want to do. Let's just do it. And we'll just figure it out as we go along. Let's just keep doing, 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 doing. We're not going to do a ton of research. We're not going to, we're not going to just see how things go. We're just going to just jump straight in and do it, figure it out as we go along. And, and I think that's a similar thing now to, to, to where we're at now with, for many cases, but people in my industry, your industry, many other industries as well actually I mean if there's a lot of talk about people pivoting which has been a word that's been you know used as yeah. many times as lockdown now at this point but but it's pivoting, the, yeah. pivoting, you know. <laughs> but it's true and I mean and and wherever whatever industry you're in I think it's a, it is a question mm -hmm. of do some quick research well do some research to find out where you want to point at and then just do it because mm -hmm. there, there's just no time and 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 no. and I and I think the big difference between this time 
because everyone keeps comparing this to like 2008, you know, like the economic mm -hmm. recession. And, and, and it's just true, obviously, it's had a big impact on the Spanish economy and every other economy everywhere else. But I think the big difference this time is there's, there's a lot of people still with money. You know, there's a lot of people still working, there's a lot of bigger companies still have it to, to, to use. They've obviously had to, you know, spend some of that on everything else. But, but I think this, is the, this one's different, you know, there's, there's money out there. And I think, you know, how to point yourself towards where you're, again, from what, what's been said previously on this, you know, to, to point yourself towards where your skills are most relevant and where you can make the most impact in terms of your own skills and services. Hmm. I think that the the impact that you're mentioning that's 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 key. You know? mm. Being more efficient um, <clears throat> and also, uh, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with the the the, the phrase revenue marketing. No, Not, no. Um, it's a it's 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 marketing with more uh, with more in being more intentional in your marketing. So you're thinking whatever you do, it's to help sales close. Okay, okay. so. Um, so that, that, that whole mindset, I think whether you do have a budget or whether you don't, you're always thinking, how can I be more efficient to put out either content or to launch campaigns that will, um, if not help close sales or get me, get me more revenue, um, start generating the, the, the right targets to yeah. fill the pipeline. No? Yeah, yeah. But, um, so yeah, that efficiency. Looking for for that efficiency in in the budget. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what about your What about your own clients then? What about them? What have they said? What are, What are What are people saying? So there's there's the what I mentioned before of uh, we have to get revenue quick, quick, quick. So that's that's even more so now because they have been stuck for many months where uh, revenue has not been uh, been secured okay mm -hmm. so i have one uh, one client in retail so that one um sells uh, a software platform that basically gives you access to analytics the same way um, online businesses have their analytics and their flexibility they want to bring all that to the offline retail world and then connect everything offline and online. Um, so that's a pretty tricky uh, mm. sector to be in because you depend on, on the retail stores uh, that were closed. Right. Mm. So that was, um, that, that was very tricky, but uh, in general there, the, 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 the mindset was take advantage of this time to educate and do some um, educational outreach. Mm. in the meantime mm. so then once the stores are all open because the budgets are probably still there yeah so you just need to to, to start educating right um and the the my work with uh, with pitch slap we've seen founders take advantage of this time to um start start new businesses so that we've you know we've seen you know start and validate all in a month and a half two months wow. so really taking advantage of, of the opportunity mm -hmm. um same thing as in in 2008 you now so many businesses started there uh we've also seen founders um take advantage of this opportunity to uh revisit what they have done so um my pitch is not getting me um meetings with investors so what's wrong with this let me get it checked you know like we we like to say Get your pitch checked. You no, know? so mm. take advantage of this time, this downtime, um, to make that progress and get as much feedback as possible, so that um, once everything goes back to normal, you no, know? or at least investors are more, um, you know, receptive, or there's etc. It they'll be uh, ready, more mm. ready than you no. Know? They'll be sharper, uh, polished pitches. But when I say pitch, I don't just mean the, the actual deck. It's just the, both the spoken and the, and the, and the deck, no? And, and so, what kind of things are you seeing like, that people are pitching now? Like, have you, seen, have you seen people come up with some really clever ideas about some ways to take advantage of the, the outcome of this? Or, or is it similar to what you've seen before, but they're just more refining their pitch and stuff like that, like you just mentioned? Well, I'm sure there are many, you know, crazy new ideas. And I don't mean crazy in a bad sense. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that since since our target is not really the napkin stage, mm -hmm. uh, we don't get access to that. You know, those all that those ideas at the beginning of the of the mm -hmm. process. No, because many many uh, many ideas don't actually materialize. 
Well, yeah. But that's, yeah, so, so we don't, but no, I haven't seen anything um, that has uh, surprised me um, at all, to be, to be honest. And I feel bad because I would love to come up with an example, you know, I'm wrapping yeah. my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it, it's kind of like, you know, what's been said before. And when we chatted about this when we met last week, you know, it's, it, it, I think it's applicable for everyone really, like, you know, and then especially someone starting up as well, but about, you know, really focusing on what you're good at and making that good or better, mm. should we say, like, you know, rather than kind of, for how, I don't know how you termed it when you're, when you're marketing across a lot of different places, like platforms. Uh, mm. spray, spray and pray. Spray and pray. Yeah. Spray and pray. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Pew, yeah. pew, pew. But yeah. <laughs> you're right, though, you know, because, uh, I mean, I've been guilty of that because I don't know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> this is yeah. a, a straight up admission of honesty there for you. But, um, you know, I, I'm not a marketing person. So all the years I've been trying to do these things and, uh, you know, I, I've been working closely with a, a marketing guy who's become a good friend of mine now over the last um, last two years, maybe or so. I know Ben Hewis is his name. He works at a company here. Um, shout out to Ben. But, um, you know, he, he, he again, like kind of started educating me on this whole process and, and I don't mean to under, under, underpin or undersell marketing at all, but what, but what strikes me is that it's just so blindingly obvious that you just can't see it. You're not a marketing person. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I... I think that gives uh, too much credit to marketers. I think it's, it's, it's uh, just it's so common so sense, you know, like it's just, mm -hmm. you, it just, it, yeah. and it never crossed my, none of these things ever crossed my mind, you know, like what about, what's, what's the, the about section on your website? I just have mm -hmm. some bits about me and la la la, but what words are you using? Yeah. You know, what, and I was like, well, I don't know what words to use. Well, if you were looking for the service, what would you type into Google? Use those words. Ah. Yeah. Stuff like this, you know, like, <laughs> Of course. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> it's, it's, it really is. It really is like, you know, uh, hmm. it's, 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 it's an ongoing game, you know, for, for me, at least anyway, with the learning about marketing, but also as well about where that moves now, you know, and how things will change hmm. with that now at, at this time in particular, like you're saying now, maybe people have to just move a lot faster. Um, but I think, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think a lot of the loyalty we saw in the past from consumers and from customers and clients, and I think they'll more or less want the same things they always wanted. I don't know. Yeah, people people have haven't uh, haven't changed, and if you look at the the old marketing books, I'm saying really old, mm. over forty years ago, um, when we were talking about just advertising marketing was advertising if you look back it hasn't changed much uh the 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 winning rule you know the the winning game the tactics are the same yeah yeah right you know yeah so they're, tell they're, people they're what exactly they want the and give it to them mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. there's a I, the, I, you have to know what moves what moves i just have to know what moves john what what desires does john have where where is john and where does he want to be and i'm going to be helping him make this you know mm. uh, this journey towards where he wants to be you know it's uh, just to give you an example mm. yeah it's amazing there was I, I i remember a podcast i heard years back um and it was about a guy called edward bernays have you ever heard of that name no he's no, apparently no. credited with being the father of public relations which became then marketing um oh. He, he, he lived to be 90 something and he was working for 70 years. So for example, wow. um, he was the first person to get his celebrities to endorse products. Um, the fact that people eat bacon for breakfast now never was a thing before, but the companies were selling all of these products. These products were saying, right, well, we need to shift more product. And he said, why don't we get people to have it for breakfast and we get the celebrity to say that he does it. And that's what we all do now as a natural thing, you know? So so he, he's the father of influencer marketing, no? Yes. I guess, or... Yeah, Edward Bernays. Sounds... I'll, send, I'll send you a link to it yeah. later on. Yeah, yeah. But, Please do. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting. But so then, <laughs> you know, the same question I've asked to the others that have been on here. Like, I mean, what do you think about the short term now for the rest of the year? Or do you think there'll be any massive impact? Impact. We're gonna impact. We're gonna be uh, living through the impact of the past few months. We all are. 
we've mm. all had to shift and and i say we all had to shift i hope that we've all shifted because those are those that have stayed stuck in the oh my god no in the freak out phase <laughs> and have not moved to that observe understand and, and act you know um, um but i think that depending on the sector the travel sector of course is is taking a big hit the the retail sector depending on 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 the size um we've seen uh, bigger bigger companies in the us um uh, we've seen in in the in the in the travel sector we're talking about the rental car sector hertz no i think hertz uh, filed for for bankruptcy um so we're seeing big shifts in in these businesses that are tied to tourism yeah and to travel in general so it mm. depends a lot on on what sector you're in and where exactly do you fit in mm. um like the example of the the, the clients that selling that cloud platform um it's all added value so even if sales are are not yeah, so the stores reopen the sales are not doing so great which i'm sure they are because you know foot traffic is not as high but sales are doing you know i, I think we have some kind of pent up uh demand for shopping oh know? yeah i think so yeah <laughs> so people just, just want to buy things crazy um yeah. yeah 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 so even if sales are good they'll still want to to make it better to recoup you know we're all talking about recouping um we have uh quarter um objectives to get to we have no we still have the yearly objectives to get to um etc so it really depends on 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 the sector there and where exactly you fit in um in in each hmm. and it, and in terms of marketing specifically in terms of marketing um well like i i mentioned before so that that holds uh, that definitely holds true um trying to be more um efficient yeah. in the sense that sure those big branding campaigns are you know branding is is very good generating awareness is very good uh, demand gen is very good right uh, that's definitely very important um but i think there's also going to be a focus on hitting that target reaching targets that are much more qualified than yeah. before so when i say efficiency in the budget it's more it's it's less spray and pray it's more thought out so let's try and zero in on that uh, on that target uh, and get some qualified traffic um so there are different ways to do it but i think we're going to see more we're going to see more of that yeah mm. definitely mm. that makes total sense as well because you know if if a lot of businesses want to start moving their to be as flexible and agile as possible if they want to be able to be online and also if they have a, a presence in a store or, or or whatever the situation is but they'll want to be able to do both i think and so exactly hmm. you know the more qualified people that are coming to you, the, the well you you don't have to sell anything then you just have to provide you know help them buy no? exactly <laughs> yeah let's make it easy for them to spend money basically yeah and 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 what yeah. about what about yeah, the long term yeah. john i mm -hmm. you know i was just going to say that also a very important part of this is um is, is content yeah. so uh, personal brand personal brand of the people in each company and content so if if demand gen is is really important then there's a big focus on content no mm. content that i might put out uh, put out there not necessarily selling anything just it's just me you no know? yeah um content that you put out there that not necessarily saying hey mm, I'll do your videos no 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 without any mention of of what you do you no know? mm. um to to be top of mind and I think we had discussed this uh, yeah, yeah yeah no and and yeah. I, I I agree with you completely it, it, it it was it was um it was it was other people that have said this smarter than i am but when when we when we sat down and had a coffee last week we talked about it that you know if you're in my industry or you're in your industry or you're self employed or you're an entrepreneur or any of these things the biggest asset you have is yourself that's the only thing that's the thing that would set you apart because you know maybe somebody else can do what i do and maybe they do it better or maybe they do it worse maybe they do it more it's cheaper or more expensive but they're not me 
And that's the only difference that I have, you know, and, and, yeah. and leveraging that as much as you can. And it's interesting, actually, I listened to, um, there's a podcast that LinkedIn actually does. It's called Hello Monday. Have you, are you familiar with that one? Yes, but I haven't, I haven't listened to, to any of those in a while. Mm. So I listened to the one this morning and they were talking about um, the host. She, I forget her name now, Jesse Kempel, I think it is. And she, made her, she, she was talking about one of her mentors when she was starting out. They, they talk about, you mm-hmm. know, um, the three things that are the most important, basically, are your, um, your social investments, your professional investments, and your economic mm-hmm. investments. But the problem there is that most people focus on the economic over everything else. And so then you're always going to be struggling with the other two. But if you take care of the social and the professional, the economic will look Mm -hmm. after itself. And Mm -hmm. always in a professional world, you know, in corporate worlds, and and, and I think prior to this time, it was important, but I think it would become more important after this. Those were quite separate things. But I think now your social and your professional are going to become much more, much more, you're going to have to bring them together far more because you need to show who you are as well as your Mm -hmm. professional self. You know what I mean? There's more, it's more business casual, I suppose. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Even if, even if you, you wear a suit and a tie and et cetera, no, because LinkedIn used to be just full, full of, of, uh, of just those types of profiles, no? Yeah. Uh, now, not as much. It's more relaxed, no? Uh, we, we had spoken about tattoos also, mm. no? So uh, that's, that's another one. I think uh, we're, we're being more, well, I was going to say understanding, but it's just, I think um, we're just relaxing more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we could be good professionals without being in a, in a suit and tie. So whether definitely. it's... Uh, business casual or have a tattoo or no, I think in general, yeah. Like, uh, Cause I, I think, I think back to when I worked in offices and stuff like more than 10 years ago now, but yeah, I mean, it, cause I mean, I like to have a laugh and I like to be kind of, you know, fairly easy going and stuff for people, you know, maybe a little bit more too much sometimes I suppose, but in a professional, <laughs> in a professional setting now I can do that. No problem. I can have a laugh mm. with clients and so on and so forth. But when I worked in that, in that environment at that time, it just, you just didn't do that. You know, it was, it was just kind of yes, no, mm-hmm. all of that stuff. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, I'm sure things have, uh, have become a bit more relaxed, as you say. But I think in terms of self-employed people, entrepreneurs, et cetera, that, that assimilation of your, of your personality into your work life, I think is going to mm-hmm. be very, very helpful for, for mm-hmm. many people. And I mean, maybe there's people that are, they don't feel like they have an outgoing personality or maybe they're shy or something. So that might be a stress point for them, but hopefully hmm. not. I mean, but even still, I don't think you have to be a, you don't have to be Freddie Mercury to, to, to win a client. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can, you can, you can, just, <laughs> you can, you can still be yourself, but you don't have to be the most entertaining person that ever lived or anything like this, you know? So it's, um, that's one of the things that I've been thinking about now over the last few weeks, you know, and, and I, I always had a, an issue with that, like kind of, uh, you know, I'm, hello. Uh, yeah. hello. You're there. I, I always had I'm an here, issue. I'm here, I'm here. With, yeah. Um, I always had an issue with that. I mean, you know, I'm not a shy person by nature whatsoever, but in instances like this, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it or whatever, I guess, but that's just mm-hmm. your own hang up, you know, like that's just me in my own way. Mm-hmm. So, you know, doing these things has been really good for me for that because you know, you, you kind of, I, I think that because I work in, in video content and all of this stuff, I don't know how many times I've seen people are like, oh God, do I sound like that? Or, you know, <laughs> stuff like this. You have to get over that, you know? I do a lot of video editing and, uh, and I mean, nothing compared to what you can do, of course, John. No, I wouldn't um, say that's true. But, yeah. <laughs> but I do a lot of video editing and um, it's very, it's excruciating listening to oneself. <laughs> it uh, is. It's excruciating. Excruciating. Yeah. 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 But, but, you know, <laughs> that's the, the worst part about it is you, I, I've just accepted <laughs> that's how I sound. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> no. I, 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 I don't care now anymore. I've, I, uh, the, yeah. The, uh, yeah. The, the lockdown has given me that. 
but um, mm-hmm. but but just to go back to the point we were talking about there, which was basically mm-hmm. your your own brand, basically you know being yourself, mm-hmm. being honest yeah. with your clients, and the other thing is as well, you know, like honesty with clients is something that when I say honesty, you know, um, being genuine in the sense that they ask you about something, say, I don't know. I don't know how to do that or Hmm. that's not in my skill set or my remit or whatever. Hmm. Whereas before you might go, yeah, I'll figure it out. But you know, Hmm. um, I suppose that, I suppose that's an integrity thing, I guess. Like, you know, but I think that, I think that if you're using your own personality as part of your professional life, I think that Mm -hmm. that part then comes naturally because you associate yourself with it, not just my professional self with it, even though obviously you you want to have the best reputation possible Mm -hmm. But if you put the two of them together, you you want that even more, yeah. I guess. Hmm. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, you just made me think of uh, when I was, so up until March, I think, or February, I, I was, um, I still am a mentor at Demium, uh, the Demium Incubator. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what that is. On, on the, it's a Demium Incubator. So it's a pre-idea, pre-team uh, incubator here in, well, it's, it's, global Mm -hmm. um but they have they have an office here so okay i'm still uh, as a mentor on demand but i for six months uh which was a lot of fun um i got to be more part-time mentor so spending more more time with the with the entrepreneurs uh, Mm. which was a lot of fun so back to what you were saying is that of course i'm a i'm a, uh, a jack of all trades right but there's still certain things that I don't know how to do. Mm-hmm. So I would always tell them, you just let's work through what it is that you need and why you need it. And then the things that I can't help you with, I'm trust me, I'll do my best to find someone that can. No? Mm. So I think that type of being um, upfront about your, I wouldn't even call them weaknesses. It's just that, Hey, you just can't be everything. Right. Being honest, so just I guess. Being isn't honest. It, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, just be honest. Um, yeah, so really interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, really well, well that's point. exactly, that's a great point because that's, well, that's the thing. But, you know, that's what, mm. that, if you, your client will trust you if you're honest with your client. And if your client mm. trusts you, they'll always be your client as long as, you know, you do the, yeah. the good work and all of these things that are required. But, but honesty mm. is mm. massively important, I think, you know. Definitely. Mm. And, and, and I remember the, talking about this when we had coffee last week. No, oh, it was one of the one of the topics we that came up. Mm. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm-hmm. And and so so, where does it go then? You know, like what, mm. what, what what's the outcome look like for five years from now? Even let's let's just assume, right? Because this is obviously very uncertain times now. Let's just make an assumption that uh, we don't have another lockdown and we manage to live with COVID until there's uh, a vaccine. And then we never have to talk about it again. Um, on that premise, do you mm-hmm. see any major changes now that are going to come over the next years because of this? Or do you think that we'll just go around it and just go back to the, the, the path marketing wise? No, I mean the path that we were on all along. Marketing wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because my, you know, before you said that my, my mind just went all over the place because <laughs> five years, no one, no one thinks five years from now anymore. <laughs> no, no? no, they don't. And or even two years or as far <laughs> as you like, long? you can go, you can go six months if you want. <laughs> six months. We've got Christmas coming up for everyone uh, yeah, yeah. worldwide. So that's the only thing that their, their, their eye is on Christmas. No, um, to, to, to like I said before, recoup. So I think that's that's going to be one 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 big one, uh, mm. one heck of a, of a of a campaign leading up to that. And of course, it depends on the sectors. If you're in the educational sector, um, it's more September, no? Yeah, and a lot of offices won't yeah. go back until September as well. I hear, right? Right. That's that's what I heard too. Mm. Mm. So that's pretty interesting because that I hope that is here to stay, especially in Spain, because um, employer, uh, employers need to trust the team, no? And it needs to shift to that objective, goal-oriented um, mindset and just trust your team to, to, you know, just handle their their schedule the way they see fit as long as they get the, the work done, no? Sorry, I just got, you know, I, I got sidetracked, but I, thought, I think no, it's no, a really right. important point here. Hmm. 
And you're, Spain is a bit difficult in, in this sense, no, in adopting. So I, I really hope that that will be, that will be something that will come out of. Well, I mean, I, you know, think of, think of it this way, right? I mean, if we lived in a world where, you know, larger employers would trust their teams, you, mm -hmm. you could just take out a whole ring of middle management there that you don't need anymore then mm -hmm. because you have someone like a team, team leader or whatever, and they report up and then it's done. But I think I think if I understand correctly what you what you meant there because of people working from home basically you meant hmm. yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. working I think yeah the the working from home um, I'm I'm not saying that because you work from home and you don't have the um, uh, the the commute you have more time to create content or not I, I just think that in general work and plus working from home and working with kids for those that have kids are two different things so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, working from home when the kids are in school i think it's going to be a completely different uh, mm. completely different thing no um but yeah just uh, in general i've seen uh, i'm going to tie it back to content again um that i can i can do it it's something that i've been working with with collaborators with clients etc for the past year and a half that it doesn't have to be perfect you could just do it and i think that we realized you know in general that hey i'll just get on amazon i'll buy a microphone or heck i don't even need a microphone i could just start making a video just mm. sit here and just tell you about something and it might it, it might be uh, it might get likes or comments or not and then tomorrow you do something different and i think that's um that shift is 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 really is really important and and another another big one that i hope um i hope that marketing is not going to be scared no overly cautious looking forward because of what happened you know this, mm -hmm. this completely took us by surprise no? mm -hmm. so i really hope that this is not instead of making us more scared and cautious no in case this happens again I hope that this uh, makes us test more things, and as many companies have, have done, is test new audiences. So mm. they'll reduce budgets in their uh, their current campaigns and and put a little bit of budget, maybe 10, 20 percent. I mean, these numbers vary from company to company, but in into testing new audiences. Mm -hmm. So they're expanding. You know, and I think we had spoken about the the putting all your eggs in the same basket last time we we uh, we met. So this whole, I think I think this is um, that's that's healthy. If you take it that way, that's healthy. Hmm. I think so, and 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 hmm. I don't know how many companies will be able to do that in terms of a budget for it, but I I definitely think from what I've been seeing and talking with people that yeah, I mean, you have to. Um, you're just going to have to to prepare yourself for well the eventual the eventual possibility that we might have to do another one of these things but not just that but also you know you can work with you can sell to or work with customers or clients or whatever anywhere it doesn't have to be in your mm -hmm. local area it doesn't have to be in the local vicinity you know if you're retail you just do your stuff online if you're a smaller mm -hmm. shop for example you know i would hope that smaller retail shops are doing this now because you don't want to see those disappear, you know. I mean, uh, well, you know, you, you, you want to see them survive as long as possible and, and thrive, really. Mm -hmm. But maybe mm -hmm. if they can do that now, they've set up a website and you can go and purchase their stuff online. And, you know, it, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's an eye-opener, I think. You know, it's been a big, big eye-opener mm -hmm. for a lot of people because it's been very easy professionally as well to just have your head down mm -hmm. and do your stuff, not really give too much wider yeah. context thought, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. What a time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Incredible. So it has, uh, yeah, it has shaken, no, shaken the whole world, but um, yeah, I yeah, hope but, but, in a very positive way. Well, in both, in many ways, you know, there's a lot of poor people that are going to be, I mean, everybody has, I've, I've had it myself as well, you know, but you've just been <gasps> stressed out about it or something, you know, because you just don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. or. Mm -hmm. all of that stuff but it's it, it, you put it really nicely um what's the term you said um the four four stages of this process understand oh, the, the freak out the, the freak out the observe you freak out you observe you understand and then you you decide to take action <laughs> yeah yeah 
Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's the, it's instead of the seven <laughs> stages of grief, it's like the four stages of a pandemic. You should do a course, you should go training around that. That'd be cool. Right, right. But you're right. That's a great way to put it. And, um, you know, I had my moments as well where I was just freaking out about it, you know, but, um, uh, thankfully doing these and, you know, chatting with people like yourself and everything else is kind of, hmm. uh, well, it's gotten me into action, but also as well, I have to. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, yeah, we yeah. all we all right. have to, and 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 mm. again, you know, mm. like helping each other out where we can, and you know, mm. um, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's been a tough one for everyone, yeah. I think. Mm. But it it is yeah, good yeah. now that we have this. Well, are we in a new normal now, or that's next week? I don't know. It feels it feels doesn't feel new. It it just feels like uh, you know a month ago. So I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Well, well, we have that now anyway. I mean, you know, we, we're not locked up yeah. anymore, so that's good news for everybody. Um, it is. Um, awesome. So is there anything, you, anything you'd like to add? or? Um, mm. Sure. I mean, I have, uh, you know, I mean, you're, you're in video. Uh, I, was, I love video. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of video, and I still have loads to learn, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm self-taught. But, you know, I'm just at it and trying new things, et cetera. That's the way to do it. But I was, yeah, but I was also in, in, the, in, in the voice tech uh, industry. So to me, I'm, I'm always thinking about ways to personalize video in, in, in an outbound campaign, for example. No? Mm -hmm. We're always looking for ways to, to, to personalize and for ways to be less cold. No, mm -hmm. like a, a cold email or we're always looking for ways to be less, less cold mm -hmm. and personalization. I mean, it, it takes time, right? Mm -hmm. There are tools that get that done for you. Mm -hmm. um, but I seen that, for example, on LinkedIn, the personalized uh, video, thank you messages. I've, I did a, a test for a couple of weeks and, mm -hmm. and people are really surprised, you know, they're, they're the surprise factor is, is pretty big. And I was thinking, how can we, personalize uh, those videos with the name with the brand right? so if i could just no with the name of the person so okay. i just connected with you 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 connected back and i'm sending you a thank you video personalized video message uh, hi john thanks for connecting uh no have a lovely weekend or whatever what if i could just make one video and then have my voice automatically say the rest of the names you know and then in like each a... person that i connect with yeah just with the uh, with voice tech and uh, and and uh, a little bit of ai no well yeah. i think <laughs> just a yeah. little bit <laughs> yeah well i mean I I, think... you could yeah exactly you just punch in their names in the list or whatever and it'll just do that but then yeah it'll take my voice it'll take my voice and say their name right yeah and, but you'll be on video right that's... So I would I would make the first video the bulk and then the part where it's high thumb no uh, it would just take from a from a sheet of, from a list of names and just use my voice that's where the deep fakes come in etc yeah, yeah, yeah. just use my voice and be like hi Taran hi Susie hi no um, that's a good I idea I think uh, it's it's a bit far fetched no John but you you can be honest uh, <laughs> that's a good idea that's a good idea. Because I've never seen that. I've never seen anyone do that. No, no. Um, is it because there really isn't a need, or or because no one has actually uh, just done it and, and validated it? I don't know. One way to find out. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna found. Yeah, I'm gonna start that. Thanks, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, if I can help, let me know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. Um, well, and uh, let let me know if there's anything I can. I can help you with or you know yeah yeah I mean, I'd love to do to keep doing to keep doing conversations like these this is uh, this is great because I get to learn more about you and like you said you know the personal part is important no yeah massively um, I think massively yeah. so, and, it, and, and, and that's something I've been thinking about now in terms of like you know work for my clients and stuff that they wanted because one of my clients now has reached out and they're they have a product that they've got and they want to do something for it in the next couple of weeks or months but when you're talking there now about um, personalizing for mm -hmm. a customer or a client or a contact or whatever, but if you want to do that on mass, I think the only way to I think the 
the most legitimate thing to do there is like what we talked about a while ago. It's just honesty and a bit of humor because everybody can relate yeah. to that stuff and just okay. be straight. This is what it is. There's no fancy stuff around yeah. that, you know, and then I don't know yeah. something. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shooting out of my brain now from I'm thinking about what mm-hmm. I need to do for that client. But, mm-hmm. but, um, yeah, you know, good luck to us all with honesty and, uh, yeah. And then take <laughs> well, Zineb, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, and we'll no, be in touch thank soon. you. No, no, you're welcome. And that's a great yeah. office. It's, it's uh, very quiet, it yeah, seems. Yeah, you see? <laughs> I just disappear into it. Did you see that? <laughs> Your arm is gone. No, yeah, that's... It's like watching a movie. Right. <laughs>